So here it is. I'm here it is. I'm at the lake and just literally just getting ready to start fishing. Just gonna you know to talk about Jesus sending his disciples <laughs> you know to the shore to do some fishing. And so this right here is really important. The Bible says, "Faith without works is dead." So what I literally do is just get some bait um, in my hands. So I get these baits in my hands. I'm expecting to catch something. Now this lake right here is full up of fish and uh, my gosh, um, turtles and all sorts of stuff. And so when I do fish here at this lake, I get a lot of turtle bites, literally. But I got two hooks and this is, this is really important because you know when we're dealing with faith and having faith in God, you know, if we don't have faith, um, you know, God will give us the, the sea. He will give us the platform, but it's what we do with the platform that's going to count. So how are we going to handle um, what he gives to us? You know, so he gives us a lake that's filled with fish. But if we don't do anything about this lake right here, if we don't get our rod and get the necessary tool in place, we can never get the benefit of what's in this lake for us. You understand? And that's some fish. So there was a situation um, with, 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 with Jesus concerning, concerning the disciples. And they needed some money. They needed God to really do something in their life. And they needed some uh, financial breakthrough dealing with their taxes. And the Bible states this, that Jesus sent them to the fish, to, to go catch a fish. And he says, you're, you're gonna go to a place and when you catch this fish, there's money that's gonna be in its mouth. And so can you just imagine God is sending you to a lake to go catch a fish? In other words, again, you know, he set the stage. Well, what are we doing with the stage that God has given to us? You know, many of us desire to be great. Many of us want God to use us in the most incredible way. But how can God use us if we are not moving according to the fate that we have? You see, this rod that I hold in my hands, this is a fishing rod. And in order for me to get what I need out of this lake, I have to have the tool. And I have to, I have to go out there, I have to purchase this tool, I have to invest in this tool, I have to buy this tool, so now I can reap the benefit of getting whatever it is that's in this lake. Now I'm not going to say that they are not stuff that would try to steal your bait. You know, sometimes you're trying out certain things in life and things will happen, all right? But it doesn't mean that, you know, you shouldn't have the right bait. So what, what of course, what I did, of course, I, I got, you know, <laughs> today actually I am literally using, um, I'm literally using, um, uh, vegan food to feed some fish in the lake and so I'm hoping to catch a fish with it I honestly hoping to catch a fish with it but you know I was just really thinking about this thing because often at times I'm gonna go ahead and, and throw it out hope hope, <laughs> hope hopefully uh, my, my rod works well and I'll be able to catch a fish but you know this is the start of it you see we got to be able to position ourselves to throw as far as we can and pray to God that we hit the right spot. Now, Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray that I hit the right spot to catch a fish in Jesus' name. So I'm hoping that there's no turtle that's gonna eat my fish, right? So I'm just praying that, you know, we just get to that place in our life. And, you know, if we don't launch out in our faith, and Jesus taught his disciples how to deal and how to launch out in their faith. All right, here we go, here we go. That's an excellent throw. So I am really hoping this time to actually catch something. I um, mean here, you know, and so God is teaching us about faith. Now one thing when it comes on to fishing, you got to be patient and you got to like patiently wait like when am I going to catch a fish? Now the funniest thing, I've been fishing at this lake for like the longest. I have never ever caught a fish. I'm hoping today to actually catch a fish and I don't have a fake fish to uh, to say, hey guys, I just caught one. No, no this, is, this is for real. I am fishing for real and so I am like hoping that I really do catch a fish today. But you know, this is what it's all about. Just literally just having uh, uh, patience and allowing your bait to just sit in this water, you know, for, for the set time. Now it is a little weird. So what it is today, I was just really thinking about it. I was just thinking about the many opportunities that God has given us. 
things that God, through his word, has said, you know, hey, I'm going to bless you, I'm going to favor you, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that in your life. But in order for him to do all those things, we have to step out in faith. And if we don't step out in faith, then we're not going to see the true manifestation of God. And here it is. I am fishing today, but guess what? I have to be patient. I got my bait all the way out in the water, all the way out there, and, and you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping to, 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 to catch something. No place in our life where we just want things to happen right away. But God teaches us something about waiting. Another thing that I wanted to say is this, having the right bait is very important because if you don't have the right bait, the right idea, the fish won't come to you. So you got to have a bait, you got to have the right idea for people to come to you and to support the vision that God has given to you. So you may be a pastor, a leader, or somebody that really desire to be used of God. But you need to put yourself in a position. You know, if you don't have anything to offer a person or offer people, they won't know <laughs> that you exist. I mean, do you want to keep on living in that light that, you know what, I'm just hoping, I'm just hoping. You know, but one of the things I, I think I use a quote out of Jake's um, one time is like, well, if, if, if you don't put yourself out there, how is people going to know that you exist? How is people going to know that you are around? And so, so it is in business. If, if you put yourself out there and you trust God to just really move in your life, I really believe that supernatural things will happen for you. And that God has a plan to open doors for our life and really favor us. Let's see what happens. Let's wheel it on in. Let's see if we could put some new bait on it. You know, well, it looks like nothing, nothing actually bit it yet. Zeta, they don't like this type of, um, this type of food. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just throw it out there again because I'm just still waiting. You know, I, um, like I said, I've been fishing in this lake for a while and I haven't caught none yet. But I am hoping that one day I'll be able to actually catch a fish out of this lake and um, who want to be fishing and not catch anything at all you know who want to put sacrifice in something and don't see any result you know some people will say okay when you try all that you have tried and it doesn't work move on try something else you know uh, go to another place you know reposition yourself but you remember the story that Jesus used concerning his disciples? Here they are on the boat, and while they are on the boat, Jesus says, have you caught anything yet? Um, they said, Master, no, we haven't caught anything. He said, well, cast your net on the other side. God is preparing us for something far more great. The question is, what is God preparing you for? What is the Lord speaking to you? What idea, what vision, what thought of revelation is God truly given to you, you know, for a set time as this? God knows that you would have a desire for things in your life and you would want the best things in life. But God does not want any of us to put ourselves in a position where, where um, we have not gone through the test or the process of gaining that wealth or that blessing that he truly has for us. God desired to make us rich and to increase our life and bring multiplications in our life. We just got to be ready for what he has for us on my, on my bait. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to just simply uh, change out, change my bait. I got some, I got some bread here. So I'm, I'm going to try the bread and you know, see what type of bite I get through the bread. See if that would work. I, I don't know if the if the fish taste it or not. If they do like this type of um, vegetable food here, so I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna just change this out. Some 
some bread that I'm just gonna throw on my bait and I'm hoping that um, I get a much better better result um, result from throwing little pieces of bread on my hook sometime you could use a fish to catch a fish um, you know God do that <laughs> so funny how how you know the whole fish analogy actually work and the Lord says hey I'm gonna make you fisher of men you know and the truth of the matter is that you know people catch people you know fish get fish gets fish, fish. The, the, I, the concept of what I'm doing here it, it's the same lake the same river but I brought two different type of bait you know sometime you may have to bring three different type of bait and in a particular area like this it could you know depends on the timing you know or, or what some of these fish like you know and then of course like I said it, it, it's a patient thing these 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 things that they that they put in this box right here you know um, see what they got in here so anyway in your in your toolbox of life you know when you're fishing for certain stuff now I don't know all the fancy name but I know that this is like a styrofoam and what it really does is just kind of keep the you know keep the hook afloat so it doesn't really um, uh, uh, sink to the bottom and pick up certain stuff so this is a kind of measure the distance that you want the hook to actually fall into the water and then these are some fancy looking bug type of things that you kind of use to try to attract uh, the fish as you can see this one is a little little red I got a little <laughs> orange one I guess fish likes color right creativity creativity um, here here's some hooks so all these little colors actually represent creativity so when you're talking about prosperity you know you have to be creative um, in your in your approach and that's why you know you got all these colorful stuff and you know to help to catch the type of fish that you would like to catch um, in your life and then of course we have all these different types of hooks um, so you again you just gotta just be equipped and you just gotta be ready you know really and truly for what God has like I said this is a tough lake so what I, what I did I, I've been throwing out straight ahead of me in that direction so what I'm gonna do now I think I'm just gonna throw it out you know over there um, and, and I'm hoping that something really big and something really major happened for you I just want to prophesy to somebody out there that your business is going to prosper I see somebody that um, you're, you either you live on King Street or your business is on King Street and I and I see this for you in the spirit that God is going to supernaturally bring favor and prosperity I see somebody coming into your life into your place of business and and God is going to cause a, a supernatural release to take place for you God is setting you up God is preparing you for the blessing that he truly has for you you know I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying to tell you in this season not to doubt because of the supernatural release that's about to come your way all right I'm going to pull this in and um, I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just throw it somewhere else I, I changed my bait and I think that um, I'm not getting any 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 bite like I said I've been coming to this lake for years been hoping that one day uh, I'll probably get a little bite or something so let me see if something might have um, ate my bait or what's going on um, uh, with my bait here um, now I don't I don't know if there are like alligators in this water oh my goodness look at that <laughs> So, so check it out. I use a saw for bait, and guess what happened? Guess what happened? See? <laughs> they ate my bait. They ate my bait. Look at that. I use a saw for bait. So apparently they love the bread. They just didn't like that other. <laughs> they didn't like that other kind of food. I mean, I can't blame them anyway. You know, that's 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 what they like. So. And they ate off all of my bait and did not spear me a fish on my hook. So I'm having fun. I know some of y'all probably do fishing or you've done fishing before, you know. And um, I don't know, it got, I, I felt like something was eating my stuff. I, I just didn't know what it was that was eating my stuff. And um, apparently they found a way 
how to get to my food without actually getting catch. Fish are smart. You know, you could always try to um, share the word with somebody in the world, and you know, you you know, there people in the world is very smart. They're not dumb now. You know, I'm just using this as an example, but you know, you got to be really smart to catch a fish, and you just got to keep doing what you're doing and hope that they'll catch. So sometimes, you know, you pray for them, and like, oh, they're gonna come to my church. No, they're not gonna come to your church. You know, oh, they're gonna accept my Lord. Oh no, you know, sometimes they don't accept the Lord right away. So you just got to just keep praying for them. All right, I feel so blessed. I feel so blessed. Spider. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna throw it probably over in this direction. And I know some people are fishing and fishing over there. So, what, I, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just, just throw it over into that direction. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch something. You know, you got these little, got these little uh, snapping. God wants to bless us. God is leading you today to receive what he has for you and you got to put your faith in action i'm going to start that business you know i heard a name somebody that goes by the name uh cream either jack uh, it's cream i just heard the name cream and i don't know who, who's that but whoever that person is i prophesy to you you're watching this video i prophesy that dear right now in the name of Jesus Christ I see things uh, financial debt being canceling right now God is causing financial debt to, to, to cancel you know, take you out and, 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 and remove the cancellation of debt from your life uh, supernaturally because you've been going through some stuff you've been praying you've been seeking God's face you've been waiting but God says that he's gonna come uh, 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 through for you in this next uh, season of your life and um, um, yes yes somebody that goes by the name cream and I rebuke every demonic satanic struggle things that has been trying to come against you I rebuke it right now in Jesus name I, I, God is a God that never changed and he's a big picture God I had shared a, a very powerful revelation about something that everything that is contrary to God's will, he always, like, he, he's opposite. If, 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 if you're sick, he says you're healed. If you're poor, he says you're rich. If you're blind, he says you could see. If you're dumb, he says you could talk. If you're lame, he says you can walk. If you don't have a place to live, you know, he says you can get a house to live. If you have a car to drive, he says you can get a car to drive. It's all about fate. And when we understand that fate is that thing that moves the mountains in our life, and yes, it is, it's, it's working patient in us, but it is through that patient that the Spirit of God is manifesting the work of His hands more than ever before. I wanted to encourage you and really encourage you in the Word of God and in the things of God. The Lord is your help. The Lord is your strength. And you got to speak that word over your life. You got to command that word, the word of God to work for you. Because the Bible says that the gates of hell will not prevail. And you got to prophesy that over your life. Gates of hell, you will not prevail. Demonic warfare, you will not prevail. Satanic witchcraft, you will not prevail. Hindrance, you will not prevail. And you got to keep speaking that over your life and believe the word of God that God would deliver you out of your trouble, that God would show up for you. You understand? Believe the manifestation of God's word and watch the increase of his will uh, fill your life like never before. You're close to a breakthrough. You're close to a blessing, but you're just going through some stuff right now. But God is about to turn things around in your life. My God, he's about to do it. But you've got to believe the word of the Almighty God. So I prophesy to you right now that you're going to go into the, the things that, the blessed things that God has for you in the name of Jesus. Mm. All right. Don't ask me why I do that. I am just really was hoping that I catch something and um, 
It's still got a little bait on it, I'm just about. I, I have a feeling that it probably was a turtle. I don't want to catch no turtle. Um, but it probably was a turtle and, um, you know, not necessarily a fish. And I was just really hoping to actually catch a fish, that they just put their whole mouth over it and just grab it. And, um, you know, so, so I could be happy, <laughs> you know, but it just takes so long. Um, but yes, 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 receive your healing, receive your miracle, receive what God has for you, you know, and, you know, through the storm, just smile through the storm, you know, just smile through whatever it is that you're going through in your life. All right. You just look at it and you just look at it in Jesus name and you just decree the word of the almighty God and, and, and for what the word of the Lord says. You know, the Bible says that you are the head and not the tail. You are above and, and not beneath. You are the first and, you know, God has made you the first and not the last. You know, you're, you're in God and he's the first and, and, you know, he is the last. He's everything. But God had made you into the likeness of his image. And I think, I think that thing is taking my bait. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, this water is so much turtles in this water that they just eat my bait. They just eat my bait. Pull it right down and ate off all my bait. Look at that. <laughs> and when it got done eating it, it just it just dropped it. I'm done. I can't do this no more. I'm gonna have to come back another day and hopefully try to catch something. I came close though. I came close to catching a turtle at least. <laughs> You're like, what in the world am I doing catching a turtle? I, trust me, I don't want to catch no turtle. They got look like it's got to be the turtles that's eating my stuff. But there's so many turtles out here. But anyway, like I said, I'm near the end of the program, so we'll, we'll pick this up another day, another time. Uh, but just wanted to kind of come on and just give you a little word of encouragement. And, and I just hope that you were encouraged and that you would stay encouraged. All right, until we meet again, God bless.